Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play Savage Lands. Um, today we're going to see what you need to do to activate this portal to Jamanga. Um, namely, assemble the four items you see here. It's incredibly long-winded in single player though, and all four items are found in the same way, so I'm hoping to get all four in this video, although I have to get very lucky with the drops, because apparently they can screw you quite a bit. In fact, I already have one, and which I teased in the previous video. It's this. It's an emerald crystal skull, which I got off camera when I was genuinely not expecting to be able to. So that's one of the four things you require here. Um, I'm not going to apply it just yet. Um, what I am going to do is head around the island, and we'll discuss what the hell's going on en route. Just have to creep past these fuckers first. Right, okay, so we're going to leave Stonemore behind for now, and this is on the very northern tip of the second island, Fraidlin. Just going to cross the ice here. Right, so yeah, we're going to go around the island in anti-clockwise direction. Um, in a nutshell, there are four forest giants on Fraidlin, um, and each one guards a portal. We've already seen a couple in these videos, which I wrongly assumed was something else, um, for a different purpose. Um, each of those four portals takes you, a, takes you to a place where you find a unique item, namely those skulls that we saw at the portal. Um, get all four of those special items, and you can activate that portal and go to Jamanga. Yes! Or you can just run across the fucking ice. You can actually see the um, the Dragon Island in the distance just there. I think I'm on very high draw distance at the moment, um, which will might have a few FPS issues with, but never mind. Uh, right. Okay, so um, they're bound to stop you running across the ice at some point, I'm sure. I mean, come on. I mean, um, otherwise, why bother doing all the killing? Actually, where the hell am I? <laughs> uh, hang on. In fact, I think I'm actually... At I think I'm actually in where I want to be already. Um, this is North Wind. This is that kind of um, rocky area that surrounds the ice portal. Whilst we warm up, I'll show you what, um, what I've equipped myself with. Cow! Um, I'll show you what we've equipped ourselves with to actually fight the forest giants. Ooh, careful. So yeah, I've actually got a shit ton of frost fern bandages, made from bandages and frost ferns on the first island. Um, I've got like, over 30 at the moment. I've got a couple of cure air potions, which are instant cure rolls, which we saw how to get in previous episodes. I've got a change of armour, and I've got me... Um, that's actually the wrong sword. I want me Wolfsbane out. Um, yeah, the wolf's the Wolfsbane sword is 95 damage, and the steel sword is 72. Um, now, I suppose I'm um, cheating a little here, because I'm actually using a sword I crafted for materials from the Dragon Island, and this is a video that's trying to show you how to actually get there. But whilst you can still win across the ice, it's a feasible strategy. Um, and I've got all steel armour on as well. Um, so I'm going to fight with a shield. There. Um, no, all I have to do is actually find the bugger. Um, he's around here somewhere. I'm just circling north wind at the moment. Um, and there is the forest giant. Um, and there's a cow. Get out of the way, cow. Ugh. Right, and for each fight I'm going to have to put down a, a Wajima call it, a Pike of Resurrection. Just so we're not um, <laughs> doing the usual thing of being a complete idiot. Uh, right, I need to get my health up to the top, so I'll... I'll in fact, um, I shall use a normal bandage so I'm not wasting my precious frost ferns. Frost ferns are still quite quick. I didn't realise how quick until I tried one recently. I thought they'd been completely nerfed, but it's not so not not nearly as bad as I thought. Uh, right, okay, let's do this. Um, make sure my stamina's at the top and my health's at the top. Uh, right. Hello, it's me again. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, I'm already doing poorly. <laughs> right, this is going to be right. Careful not to use a poor stamina. Uh huh. Wait for him attack. Yeah, good, some good hits here. Oh, right, here we go. Right there. Good bit of shield action. Right, come on. Take him round. Take him round. My stamina is getting quite low. Careful, careful. I don't want to use too much of my stamina that I can't use my shield. Oh, he's not attacking much. I'm getting very lucky here. Oh, 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 you... Fudge! Come on, just... Right, hang on. Right. I mean, I shouldn't be using keys, I should be using mouse to... Look, oh, die! 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 One more kill, one more... Oh, he's already dead! Whew! Well, that... Yeah, that went better than I expected. <laughs> ah! Right, let's see what he's got. Ah! I've already got his soul, and this forest giant is called Grot, by the way. Yeah, Grotty but Uh-oh! Amber. Uh, and Spirit Shard. Right. Oh, you skeleton! There. <laughs> Well, actually, that went surprisingly well. I'm almost disappointed how well it did. Um, cool. Oh, actually, I'll get some of that. Uh, yeah. Right, so it's going dark now. I didn't even use, need to use my bloody thingy-me-bob. 
My thingamy doodah. Cool. Right, nice bit of warming up again for the lads. Um, sorted. Right, okay, so now we're going to take the soul of Grot. Um, got, I've been getting very lucky. I've killed two giants in, in the um, recently, and both times they've actually managed to drop their own souls. Um, I've heard reports that it's actually um, um, not, you know, you're definitely not guaranteed to get one, and sometimes it can be a right bastard, you know, killing the same forest giant over and over again um, just to get his bloody um, soul. Um, sometimes they drop Everwood, uh, which is used to activate the Dragon Kerr, of course, on the third island. Um, so far, I haven't actually managed to get any of that. Um, but as I think I've mentioned in the last video, there's no chance I'm going to be fighting the dragon any time soon. I'm not in single player, anyway. Um, I, I think we saw... Um, I, I did an episode on the, fir on the original Savage Islands game, The Sundered Isle, where I um, drunkenly took on <laughs> Kerr, and it was an utter disaster. Um, also took him, took him on in an episode where I was on a multiplayer server with the devs. Um, where, unfortunately, it was such an early iteration of the encounter that it was just glitchy as fuck um, and ended in farce. Uh, anyway, I'm just trying to find my way up to the um, the portal. It's been a while, um, and there's a wolfie um, somewhere. Oh, there's there. There he is. Um, don't waste my time on wolves. I'm not even going to bother picking through his bones. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's the portal. Ah. Hello. It looks really good at night, this. Um, let's just have a bit of a... Oh, this ice is still half broken. Ah, oh, look at this. Look at this bad boy. Right. So it doesn't actually tell you which soul you need, but as I understand it, it has to be the one that you get from the local forest giant. So, there we go. Right. Uh, let's go inside the portal with my wacky torch. Hey! Oh, hello. <laughs> Flew up in the air, then. And here we go. Um, right. So, by the, I have, I've been in one of these before, and by the looks of it, they're all the same. They're all this kind of, like, um, furniture-laden beer! Delicious beer. Tasty drop of old peculiar for the lads. Um, okay, yep, so... Um, the, oh, it's a, oh, it's a sapphire crystal skull, this one. Um, let's just take, out, um, take off my torch, just to show you there's a bit of a glow going on. There we go. Take the sapphire skull, and everything goes a little dark. Uh, get the torch back. And there you go. At the moment, this is all it is. Um, I suspect in future there might be something more to this. There might be more things to fight, maybe? I don't know. Um, it seems a bit of a, an, an empty space at the moment. Uh, let's go out. And there we have it. We've actually killed um, a forest giant, and we've got two souls now. Oh, no, we've got two crystal skulls. Um, we're actually on our way. Uh, whew, we might actually end up killing all four. Um, I'm not promising anything, but it's, you know, might be possible. Right, so in general, I mean, there's um, there's a forest giant on, like, all four sides of the island. So I'm currently just kind of going round in an anti-clockwise direction um, with the ocean on my right, and I've already come to the Northlands a few minutes away from where we were previously. Now, the next forest giant is hidden in here somewhere. Um, the only trouble is I haven't really got enough skulls for a pike of resurrection, so I might have to fight some skellies first. Or, in fact... If you look to the... well, straight on now. Um, this is actually uh, the, 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 the Lake Tyre, whatever it's called. Um, and this is the village I call Grimsby. So it is actually very close to this. So I might actually go and hunt some skellies before we take on the giant. Okay, so I've got enough skulls now. There's Grimsby over there. There's one of the um, huts. And I've just seen the forest giant, actually. He's really close by. I'm heading towards the ocean. Um, because it's dark, it's easy to get, you know, creep up on him without realising it. Oh god, where is he now? He could be anything. He could be anywhere! Uh, but it's probably over here somewhere. Oh god, there's the farm. Fuck. Oh, I've lost him. Where's he gone? Uh, this could be tricky. I don't want to suddenly activate him without putting my spawn point down. But I don't want to put the spawn point... Oh, there he is! I don't want to put the spawn point down too far away. Last time we did this, I mean, there might actually be my spawn point around here somewhere anyway, but I can't be bothered to look. And because we did actually um, try and fight a forest giant a while back, and that was when the glitch happened. That went mad. Anyway, let's, um, let's get on with this. Um, we'll do it in the dark this time. Careful, careful. Oh, I'm, out, I'm starting to run out of stamina already, so I'll be careful. Now wait. Wait for it. Let my stamina get back up a bit. Where are you going, mate? Mate! Right, oh, oh, oh! Right, got him. Oh, got, got, got. But I had my shield up. Right, I hope you can see this. <laughs> there he is. Good old forest giant crotch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Oh, he missed me completely. Didn't even get my shield. Oh, this is... Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, oh, okay. Come on, 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 come on. Yes, yes. I'm starting to get this now. Once you've seen them a few times, yeah, they're piss easy. Yeah. Oh, you little shit. You haven't dropped a soul. Oh, oh my gloating. I've got some radiant gem fragments, which is very good because that'll help me get some uh, silver armor at some point. I didn't bother making any silver armor for this because, um, well, it's expensive and it doesn't really add that much um, protection. It just adds one or two extra bits of defense here and there. Now, this is a problem. Um, oh, but what you have to do now is really kind of wait until the timer resets, as, as I understand it. It won't respawn for a while, but I'm not 100% sure about that. It might just be a case of going away and coming back again. So what we'll do, um, for the sake of the video, is actually carry on our little journey around the island to get to the forest giant number three, which by my reckoning should actually be Eldair, uh, which is the one next to the wall in the southeast of the... Um, of the world. So it's going to be a case of carrying on going around anti-clockwise until we get there. And which will take quite a while because I think it's quite a bit of a journey from here. And in fact, I will go, I won't follow the coast around, I will actually go kind of like um, cross country a bit. Um, I'm trying to think of the most realistic way of doing it. In fact, if I head towards the southern tower, um, it'll be just, um, it'll be just beyond there. Right. Um, I've come a slightly dubious way around. I've come up on top of the wall near Serdramar. I'm actually on the wall itself now. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a long way around. I'm going to drop down into Elder, uh, which should be around here on the right. Uh, I wonder if that burning torch is still down here. Yeah, probably. Um, I dropped a burning torch down there, and then late, about two minutes later I thought I'd found an amazing secret. <laughs> I hadn't. Right, here we go. Um, here's Elder. Um, again, there may be a... How? There may be a thing in me, Bob, a spawn point already down here from a previous um, run round the block. Hopefully I won't actually, again, accidentally stumble into the forest giant first. Um, hmm. It might be easy just to put a... Oh, go away. Go away, Mr. Bones. So somewhere around here, I'm hoping there's a spawn point and a forest giant. Um... Right, here we go again. I've um, got my spawn point, got Eldare the forest giant. Let's tonk him. Right, boom. Oh, this is the front this time. Okay, land a hit. There we go. Ha, there we go. Uh, hope this isn't too repetitious, this episode, but it really is a lot of forest giants. Oh, stop booting me. Okay, oh, no, he's not He's not attacking me at the moment. Um, so many, plenty of trees in the way. Oh, there we go. Once you really get to know when to time your shield, um, it's not too difficult, this, but you need to have a good shield. Oh, ouch. He knocked my shield away. Uh, good old Wolf Spain doing its business. Oh, quick. Oh, yeah, I think I might have mistimed that. I've run out of stamina. Um, thankfully, my arm is still fairly hefty, so all is good. <laughs> mate. Mate. Oh, you little fuck. I've got some more amber. <laughs> um, and I've got a spirit shard. Uh, the one thing I don't have is a spirit soul. Um, however, um, the one that, uh, again, as I've already said, um, the Emerald Crystal Skull is the one that you get from this encounter. So let me just show you where the portal is. Uh, I just realised I should have done that with the, um, the previous one. But, oh no, this isn't it. This is actually a really bizarre portal that goes, well, it's not really, it's kind of like, it is a portal and it isn't. It's just like a shortcut through the mountains on the other side of the wall. But for some reason, it's a portal. So I don't know why why it is particularly a portal, because I don't see what it's actually doing for you. But that exists. Um, if the actual portal itself, the one I'm, I'm talking about, the, the portal that transports you into another dimension, is a bit further along. Um, yeah, the pre by the way, the previous one, uh, the, the previous portal, the one I didn't actually, f <laughs> I forgot to show you, we have actually seen on a previous video when I first found it. Um, it was just like further along down the woods in the Northlands. Um, not a remarkable portal, just one just like in the trees there. It's very, very close to the forest giant. And um, there's a tree that I previously knocked down quite a long time ago, I think. Um, where is the portal, though? It's around here. It's just, like, in the... in here some... Is it? it? Yep, this is it. Um, so, yeah, another very familiar-looking site. Another po um, portal. You go in there, and it's exactly the same dungeon as we saw for the first skull. Who are you? Mate! You're not supposed to be here! Yeah, it, oh, you go in there, and this time it just happens to be the green skull instead of the sapphire skull. Right, okay, so let's move on to the final forest giant, which is... I think it's in Shudderwood. Um, so I'll just have to continue along 
counts in one direction. Hang on. Uh, well, it's kind of like anti carry on anti-clockwise around the islands, but I just need to figure that out, where I'm going. Hang on. Okay, so I've left Eldare and run down to the river. Now all I have to do is turn right and carry on going down here. Um, a keylet's just spawned. K-I-I-L-O-T. Okay, just approaching that walled town that I always edit out the videos. Um, now we're going to turn left, and the ocean's over there. Just whilst we're passing, by the way. Um, recently, this kind of like ruined little area here has um, had a little tweak to it, um, which is very interesting indeed. And um, if you carry on going through here, and uh, through here, and through here, you go down there, it's another portal. Um, and there'll be a long... Um, we haven't got time for it now. Oh, we already should have would. We haven't got time for this now. But if you go down there, it's a, a long, watery, wet dungeon, so you'll freeze. But it's a, it's a really interesting shortcut portal that'll take you to Cortazul. Not Cortazul, but Cortazul. <laughs> got it? Oh, I can see him. Um, he's just around there. He's quite away from, away from the walled town. Um, a bit more to the coast than I expected. And a bit more to the, towards the coast where the tree fell a guy. Oh, there's so many... There's so many trees in the way, and also felled trees, I think, from... I've, I've burned a lot of trees around... Oh, Jesus Christ, where is he? He's around here somewhere. I'm going to be hitting bloody branches instead of... Oh, there he is! Hello. He's already awoken. Right. Oh, I can't see a thing! Oh, my, my stamina's down. I think I made a mistake. Um, hang on. Right. Let's wait. Wait for the stamina to come back. Um, it's kind of crucial that I do this. Otherwise, I am going to be a little fucked. Ow! Hang on. Um, oh, don't do that! I'm going to use my cure-all. There we go. Sadly, that doesn't restore your stamina. But if I, I should get him towards a slightly more clear area, I think we'll be... Oh, there we go. Let's just fight him. Okay. My spawn point's a bit further away than I'd like here. Um, right. Right. No! Right, there we go. My stamina's too low. Hang on. Yeah, okay. Right. Stamina, get back up. Please. That would be kind of you. Oh, he still hurt me. I hate it. Oh, God. But I never used to hurt you from so far away. Okay, let's, let's start chopping. Okay, chill. Ch uh, there we go. Uh, although my stamina is now down again. Uh, this is not going as well as previous ones. Um, stamina, 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 stamina. I think I just managed to do that just in time. Phew. Right, okay, start chopping. Oh, bloody, bloody. Okay, bo -bo -bo -bo. Right, okay. Right, let's try and actually get him now. Oh, damn it. Nearly done, nearly done, nearly done. I'm, I'm out of stamina. Quick, one more hit, one more hit. There we go, there we go. Right. <laughs> Ow! Right, there's something else around here. I can hear, I think I might be able to hear a fury or something. Let's be quick about this. Oh, for fuck's sake. No soul. Lots of frost ferns. Oh, look! My first bit of Everwood. Um, on this, on the new beta one, I think. Uh, oh, by the way, that's where the portal is. It's right, really close by. But I can hear something really bad. I think I can hear a troll nearby. Uh, right, so how many have I killed then? Have I killed all of them? I think I have. Ooh. Uh, right, okay, so what I need to do now, I guess, is it's some grinding off camera. I'm going to try and get all all four of the skulls. So I, I need to go back and forth and kill those a couple of, the forest giants that didn't drop souls previously. Okay, I came back to kill this Shudderwood one. Um, this is actually on a different save, um, just so I can actually spawn the giant a bit quicker. Um, I've downed this guy, um, and look, there we go, the soul of Ket. Um, this one's Ket, and the Shudderwood one. So let's go to the portal, and there's a lot of bears here, rather annoyingly. Where is it? Where's the portal? There it is, really close by. Right, um, I'm back on my main save. Um, here we go, soul of Ket, apply. And there we have another dungeon, exactly the same as the last. Although this time it's in the daytime, so we can see it in a different light. Um, it turns out it's a purple light. The Amethyst Crystal Skull. Shout out to Indiana Jones. Or something. Oh, it's snowing inside. <laughs> they haven't fixed that one yet, then. Right, okay, that's that. Um, so we just have to get one more, and we're done. Okay, so we're at the farm in the Northlands. Um, that's where the forest giant spawns, about there. Now, since last time I checked in, I've killed about 20 of the same forest giant in this woods, restarting game over and over. But finally, after about 20 attempts, I actually have the bloody soul of Thum, as it turns out. So that's the forest giant Thum. Ah, uh, that took a long time. I don't know if 
why I got so unlucky. But in the middle of a blizzard in the daytime, I finally managed to do it. Um, don't think it was anything to do with the blizzard, but you never know! Um, where's the portal gone? I think it's over here. Um, yeah, so the portal is just um, slightly south of the forest giant, um, in the woods near the coast. Um, there it is, I think. Um, it's just kind of like more towards Fraidle, uh, more towards Snowmere than the forest giant, so you just may have spent a bit of time looking for this. We've seen this on a previous video. I'm just going here, do the usual thing, uh, and this is the final skull. Um, which colour is it today? It's a garnet. All right. Okay, so what I need to do now is go clockwise around the island um, and go back to the town of Stonemore. Okay, so this is the um, the Jamanga portal. I've got all four crystal skulls. Uh, this is very cold standing here, I've got to be careful. Um, if you go too close, it starts to freeze you. But look, I have my emerald crystal skull, my amethyst, my sapphire, and my yellow garnet skull, which I've just got. Cool! Let's have a look at this. Apply all. Da 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 da! Yes! And, remarkably, we're now back on Jamanga. Um, via the correct true method. Okay, so that's how you do it. Um, oh god, yeah, the, the infernal ghouls. No, I don't like this place. <sighs> right, okay, so that's how you do it. You have to kill four forest giants, possibly repeatedly, gather their souls, go through the portals, get the crystal skulls, and then come to Stonemore and just activate the portal. Or you can just run across the fucking ice. <sighs> Right. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching. This has been quite the mission. Um, not as bad as I was expecting, actually. I didn't die once fighting those forest giants, even though I must have killed about 25 of them, so I'm rather proud of myself. Okay, so thanks for watching. This has been Jamie from randomizeduser.com. Subscribe for more Savage Lands, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.